everybody, it's Belle, and I'm back with KQD playing Discourse. Hi, I'm so excited to be back. I love this game. Yeah, it is day four? Or Discourse uh, could almost crash. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Discourse was crashing, but it is back. Hooray. Look, we okay. all look so great. Yeah, because we were in a storm. We look fantastic. We, we survived. Phew, I'm exhausted. That was not the greatest night of sleep I've ever had. Looks like some of the rainwater collected in puddles here. That's convenient. I've always slept better in storms. There's something beautiful about nature cleansing itself. You're a nature guy, Garrett. I wouldn't have expected you to get out too much. The sound of rain is usually peaceful, but I'm finding it difficult to think that way right now. All storms are good for back home with scaring the livestock and ruining the crops. But no, uh, whatever. <laughs> this one we here. need to get our campfire going again. The torch is almost out. I'll see if there's any dry wood in here. Oh my god! We forgot to ski! Our Finally! baby! Our child! Our child! Rita! Daddy! <laughs> oh no, what if he doesn't make it? Heaven forbid. Shut up, Steve! Poor Tisky, we've abandoned him. Well, there's nothing we can do now. Just have to hope for the best. I suppose you're right. I just feel really bad for our beaten up frisbee. <laughs> All right, here we go. Where you want to go? We're supposed to be finding firewood. Go back. Back here. Um. Yeah. Okay. Go that way. You found one. I found a wood. Hooray! One wood. Here's one. I think we'll need a bit more though. Alright, let's go. Just also trying to see if there's anything to interact with. Yeah, you can look at the... It looks like this cave is a little leaky. It's way better than our old camp, though. As long remember... as there's no bears. Great, you're gonna jinx us. I can never <laughs> remember which are stalagmites and which are stalactites. Stalactites are from the ceiling, stalagmites are from the ground. Because they push up with all their might. Well, I mean, stalactites, C, and stalactites ceiling, hold tight. stalagmites, G, ground. Wow. Hopefully this will get a good blaze going. Good work, Rita. Now we can do something about food. I'm starving here. Hold on, at least let me get the fire going first. Oh, we didn't get to explore the- I thought there was more than one piece of wood. Two pieces of wood. I guess not. Wait a second. Did anybody hear that? Look, there's a cat over there. We're gonna eat it. Do you want to be the cat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's a cat doing in here anyway? It's hiding from us. It must be afraid. Until we can confirm it's organic, we should assume it's a recon drone. We should just wait and let it come to us. It's probably scared. Why don't we just try to grab it? Might be nice to have some company. What do you want to do? What do you want to uh, do? Let's wait for it to come to us. Let's just wait for it to come to us. You sure? What if it wanders off and gets into trouble? Wait for it. You can't force a cat. You'll just get scratched up. Yeah. It'll be fine. We'll just wait and see what happens. I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. That cat has full power computer chips and spy data. Spy data. I agree with Rita. Alright, let's just leave it. And then eat it later. Poor kitty. Things aren't looking too good for us, are they? 
It's been a stressful few days. Maybe we should all take a break. Spend some time to try and calm our nerves. We can take a quick nap, and then this evening we'll deal with the food problem. As much as I'd like to do something more productive, a bit of actual rest wouldn't go amiss right now. Nap time. There's an idea I can get behind. As long as it's only a few hours, there's a lot we need to do. Just try to relax. Our mental health can be just as important as our physical health. That barista knows. We'll talk more in a few hours. <laughs> and flump. I like how they just sort of lie down. Yes. <sighs> oh, it's the kitty! Hey, look, it's that cat from before. Wow. There you go, little guy. You can stick with us from now on. Okay, great. Now we've got a stupid cat. It's not stupid. It even has a name tag. It says his name is Mr. Whiskers. Okay, no, you're right. That's pretty stupid. I'm going to give it a new name. It. I'll consult the random cat namer application on my game brick. Ah, perfect. You shall now be known as Tazwell. Okay, we've got more important things to deal with now. We named the disc Disky, but we're not going to call the cat Mr. Whiskers. We, a... re we really need to talk about food! We've been on this island for days and we have nothing to eat. There isn't really anything we can do about it. We can't venture out due to the storm. Oh, I'm so hungry! Hmm. Garrett? Can I talk to you in private for a second, Rita? Uh, I guess so. This is Garrett, not have you been hiding snacks? This is not suspicious, suspicious at all. <laughs> What's this all about? Listen, don't get mad, okay? He's been hiding snacks! Oh yeah, I've been hanging onto this candy bar since the crash. Um... What will you do with it? Technically it's his. What are you planning to do with it? Wow, you're not even mad? Thanks for understanding, Rita. I'm just glad we have some food to work with. No kidding. I'm sorry I didn't say something earlier. I don't want to bring it up unless it was a until it was absolutely necessary. I wanted to avoid having people fight over it. So what's the plan? There are two pieces. I want you to give them out. That's awfully trusting of you. I've already betrayed the group by holding out on them. The least I can do is let you choose for me. Yeah, make her make the hard decision. Good job, Garrett. Yeah, totally. Uh, let's ask him who he would beat. If it were up to you, who would you give these to? It's too bad chocolate is bad for cats. Who would have fed the cat? Maybe it's a good thing I'm the one handing these out. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, Let's return to the group or we should eat them. Let's return to the group. Okay, let's head back to the group. This is you. I, I'm sorry, um, it's kind of laggy on my oh, end. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. What took you so long? Were you having an affair behind my back, Rita? No, Teddy. Some new information has come to light. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It turns out we have some food after all. What? What are you talking about, Rita? Where did this phone appear from, then? It turns out Garrett had something stashed away all this time. Just throw him under the bus, that Rita. Not, oh, he found this. I'm really sorry. You were going to just let us starve? When we were going- When were you going to tell us about this? 
uh, right. right now. <laughs> right. Well, you know, when it was vitally necessary. It's not like he ate it, either. He was saving yeah. it. I'm telling you about it now, okay? That's kind of the point here. What's done is done. At least we have something to eat now. There's enough here to feed two. Now I just need to hand it out. Let's give Rita some room to think. I kind of... <sighs> I kind of want to give it to the wounded. Oh man, I could really use something to eat. Take half for yourself, or hand out half first? We're, we're gonna hand out half first. Okay. I should get out half of this first. Maybe I'll take some later. Who do you wanna give it to? Uh, Who do you wanna give it to? Either Garrett or Teddy, because they're the wounded ones. So... Well, didn't George get something dropped on top of him? That's true, but he doesn't act wounded. Oh yeah, he doesn't seem to have wounds. Yeah. So who are you giving it to? Oh, I don't know! This wounded? Or this wounded? Uh, both. So, um... I don't know why we're not cutting these halves into quarters. Um, give it, give it to Garrett first. Rita, I need just some food to replenish my stamina. That's not how the real world works, Garrett. Eating won't fix your injuries. Would I... If I feed you, you're going to have to come foraging tomorrow. You think you'll be able to manage that in your current state? I can promise you I'll do my best. It's a little less confidence than I would have liked to hear. Come on, Rita. I'm starving. Can I have something? Uh, so the ones that we feed are going to have to go foraging. Yes. So we might not want to feed Garrett because he is wounded. But I don't know. But will he survive if you don't feed him? I don't know. I don't know, Rita. Oh, but Rita, you have to pick. why are you giving it to me? Okay. You have to pick. Yeah, give it to him. Sure, Garrett. Eat up. Thank you so much, Rita. You're the best. I'm glad we're becoming such good friends. Uh, I am as well. Even though the circumstances are terrible, I'm actually glad I ended up meeting you. Every cloud has a silver lining, I suppose. There's only one piece of food left. I'm really hungry, but the others need this too. I'm going to need this if I want to have the strength to go out tomorrow. Oh, that is a toughie. Da -na 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 -na. Let's... I want to give it to Teddy, but we need to eat. So... So, let's eat so we can go scavenging. Because oh. I don't want to... I don't want to let Teddy roam free. <laughs> to scavenge. All right, that's it. <laughs> I'm that low on your ranks, Rita. I can see that the survival of the group is not your priority. And yeah, maybe not just you, Teddy. I suppose after being attacked by those crabs, I won't be much help, though. I don't know why I expected to get any food. You're kind of a dick, Steve. Yeah. Well, I think I deserve better than this. I didn't expect you, of all people, to do this to me. You truly you've done nothing. You did the right thing, Rita. Oh, George. Good job, George. I guess I should give the fire one last stoke and then head to bed. And then, like, they kill you in your sleep. <laughs> she has sustenance now. So, I guess we gotta Keep talk to people. Okay, let's talk? talk to Teddy and the cat. Oh. <laughs> no food for me, I guess, huh? Um, sorry. Yeah, sorry? Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that, Teddy. I suppose there are worse ways to die than starving. 
Rita. Don't give up yet, Teddy. We might be able to do something tomorrow if the storm lets up. I thought what we had was special. I don't know, Rita. I really don't feel too well. Uh, can we talk to the cat? Oh, I mean, you can. You want to talk to the cat? Is it going to waste our thing if we Probably. talk to the cat? You want to talk uh, to the cat? I want to talk to the cat. Meow. I'd give you a bite to eat if I could, but we're a little strapped for supplies right now. If you hunt down a mouse or something, you'll be eating better than we are, honestly. Uh, talk to George. George. Okay. The others have all eaten. Yeah, the food's all been distributed. Good. Handing out the food must have been tough, but you did well. Sorry you didn't get to eat. Don't worry about me, Rita. Go get some rest. He's so nice. He's so nice. Now I'm worried that he's gonna be the one who murders and eats us. <laughs> he's just gonna snap because he was bit too busy being nice to take out his aggression. <laughs> or he's just being nice to cover the fact that he's like, yeah, we should eat Rita. True enough. Uh, let's talk to Garrett, our buddy. Our buddy Garrett, who's still eating. How long does it take still. to eat half the thing of He candy? is savoring it, okay? Thanks for letting me have some of the chocolate bar. It was really nice of you to not hold that against me. You're a really kind person in my book, Rita. Oh, well we can talk to more people, it looks like. Oh, I guess we can talk to everybody? Let's talk to... Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Looks like I didn't rank high enough to get a bite to eat. Maybe because you're a sourpuss. Uh, there just wasn't enough. Sorry, Steve. There just wasn't enough to go around. Don't worry. I'm used to getting neglected. How does he still have cigarettes, though? Alright. Time to get yelled at. Yep. You didn't think to give me something to eat? And deal with it. <laughs> What's okay, uh, it was a tough choice. Choosing who to give food wasn't easy, you know. It doesn't take much thought to see that I deserve to bite. Nothing changes the fact that all of our food is gone now. Don't remind me, honey. Alright, I guess that's it. Did you want to see if there's anything to look at in the cave? Yeah, or? let's move around. Okay. It's a glowing mushroom. The glowing mushrooms. <laughs> Pretty sure you're not supposed to eat anything that glows. This cave is actually pretty nice. Probably saved our lives. As long as it doesn't flood. I think that's everything. Looks we... it. To be it. Oh. Oh. There's a crack. These walls have some interesting patterns. Cavemen! Too bad I don't know anything about geology. All I can do is appreciate the aesthetics. It's going on my aesthetic blog. I shall tag it rustic. You call it, um, caveman aesthetic. Excellent. So you ready to soak the fire? Yes. Let's do this. I guess we're sleeping in this cave tonight. Go to bed. There's nothing else to do. Night, everyone. Good night. I hardly call it a good night, but I guess we need to sleep. If I die before we wake, it's been a pleasure knowing you all. Especially you, Rita. Despite the circumstances, let's at least try to get a good rest. Good night, everyone. And collapse. And then you wake up, tied to a spit. All right, everybody, let's day four! We Yay! made the horrible decision of who gets to eat and who does not get to eat. And by we, I mean I made KQD make these decisions. Hooray! And I played favorites. Yes. So. Which is fine. It's fine. Like, I, I, mean, think, I think he deserved it because he was willing to share it with the whole group, even though he could have just eaten that all by himself. Right? And I mean, you'll, you'll take him foraging and... I. Think he knows stuff about animals? Eh. Kind of. 
He's got I a guess. game brick. You could throw it at an animal. <laughs> he can scare the medium-sized animals scare away. Scare the medium-sized animals away. Well, <laughs> um, thanks, everybody, for joining us on day four uh, and uh, coming along as we try to survive yet another day on the island. Again, we got to day five, and nobody's dead. So, I mean, we're... We're doing... I don't think there was a chance to... Well, maybe if you went after the cat. Well, I mean, maybe if you went after the cat, maybe... Um... Maybe someone would have turned on you. I, yeah, who knows? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know either. But I mean, I mean, look at how far we've gotten with everyone still alive. <clears throat> Four whole days. And no yes. one's dead. <laughs> and we said there's probably seven days. Yeah, I think there's like seven or something. Something close to seven. I think it's slightly variable, but I think it's at least a week. Hooray! But, so... Yay! Ugh, three more days left. Yeah. Hopefully anyway, I can keep everyone alive. It I mean, that you. would be impressive for a first run to keep yeah. everyone alive. <laughs> But uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us. I will put um, all of our social media and contact links below in the description, um, as long as links to KQD's channel, which you should totally check out. Uh, we do... Um, I do some stuff over there with her, plus she has uh, speed paints and her own run-throughs. She's doing, uh, what is it, Dokoro? Yes, which uh, is the cutest uh, puzzle platformer game you will ever see. Oh, my God. It's a, it is adorable. I really like it. Um... So yeah, so check it out. It'll all be in the description. Um, feel free to hit the like button or, I mean, subscribe if you feel like it. And uh, I will see you guys next time with KQD when we survive day five or don't survive day five, as the case may be. See you later. <laughs> Bye.